Hello, this is Jeff, N9IZ, and I'm here at the workbench again with a little Back to Basics project. Uh, what's on the table here is the Michigan Mighty Might. It's a one-half watt old school transmitter. The circuit's been around for quite a long time, and there's a lot of people um, that have built it. I first found out about the Michigan Mighty Might by listening to the Solder Smoke podcast. Uh, Bill Mara, into CQR does a really nice podcast called Solder Smoke, and uh, recently, in the last several issues, Pete Giuliano, N6QW, has been assisting in the podcast as a co-host, so to speak. And one of the things they talk about on the podcast is QRP and homebrew building projects. And uh, recently, uh, Bill sent out a whole bunch of crystals, the uh, 3579 Color Burst Crystal. And this crystal is what's used to make a simple transmitter called the Michigan Mighty Might. Uh, so right here, I have built the transmitter, and I have the crystal in here. I've got it all, I have it all breadboarded, and uh, it looks pretty ugly, uh, but it does work. And uh, I found that it's been an enjoyable project. It only requires seven or eight parts. Uh, you have to wind one coil, and uh, that's pretty easy to do here on the pill bottle. Uh, so this this is an ideal first project. I intend to build the the Let's Build Something project that Pete is working on with QRP Quarterly, and uh, this is a basic uh, kind of getting me started project. Uh, just about anyone should be able to do it. Uh, I, di I even some of the parts I used were not even the recommended parts uh, specifically, and it still worked. Uh, so that's uh, that's the beauty of the thing. All right, so here's a close up, a little bit more of a close up of uh, what I got going here. I just I used a lot of jumper wires, um, used a small CB load, 50 ohm load, a small CB power supply here on the bench. Everything's on this uh, little breadboard. Um, I'd like to put it on a circuit, actual circuit board at some point and uh, I may do that. Uh, but right now it actually uh, actually works all right. So this is about as far as I can zoom in with this camera and, and still keep things in focus for the most part. So you can see right here color burst crystal. Uh, you can see right here the homemade wired uh, inductor. And then up here the air variable capacitor with a little knob on it. A um, couple small uh, 0.05 microfarad capacitor, um, 27 ohm resistor. Uh, it was recommended to add this uh, 0.01 microfarad cap uh, to reduce key clicks, even though I'll probably never have this on the air. I uh, figured it would be good to have it. And uh, there's one more resistor in here. I think it's a 100K. Uh, you can see it basically there. 100k. Uh, so that's it. Very simple. Uh, seven, seven or eight parts. And uh, I've got it connected to a small dummy load. I have it, my power SDR operating, and I'll actually be able to uh, see, uh, see visually the the signal as it's received. Okay, so we're back again here, looking at the power SDR uh, panafall display, and you can see that I have the. Uh, receiver set for 3.579545 which is the actual color burst uh, frequency and what we're listening on right now is an outdoor antenna it's a Carolina Wyndham and uh, it should uh, display the the signal uh, fairly well here so let's give it a shot keying, uh, keying the transmitter Okay, you can see uh, it's reading at, I don't know, 60 over S9, a uh, very large signal here. And, and the main reason why I did that was just so, uh, for the sake of the video, that it would be uh, clear and uh, easy to see. Um, but you can see the signal uh, pretty well here. Okay, so there's a little bit of 
an uh, example of what it sounds like on the air. Uh, as you can see, the signal is pretty nasty looking, and it needs a low-pass filter to actually be used, even at a half watt. Uh, the harmonics are uh, pretty bad, and it really needs a, a uh, low-pass filter to be in compliance with the FCC and uh, good amateur radio practice. But it's been a really fun project, and whether I ever use it on the air or not, uh, I've learned a little bit about RF design and building uh, com constructing components and putting it together. Uh, so I think it's been a fun and worthwhile project. It can be built for under 20 bucks, right at $20 mark. Um, the most expensive part is the air variable capacitor, and uh, some people will be able to get a hold of that um, inexpensively out of a junk box. Uh, so there you go. This is Jeff in 9 iz uh, Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested, you can watch my blog. I'll have more details and pictures and hyperlinks and that sort of thing on my blog, uh, in9iz.com, in case you're interested. 73 for now.